Hey, what's up guys? Mike Lack here. Thanks so much for tuning in to this video blog. In this video, I want to discuss my top five favorite web design trends of 2013. Now, these trends have existed prior to 2013, but they are hot right now. And these are things that as you go forward with your design, you should start thinking about incorporating these things into your work and your projects. Okay. The first one is the usage of a large background image as the focal point of your main homepage. Now you see this a lot. You can go to sites like best web gallery and any gallery website. You can see a collection of these websites that include that has that a large background image incorporated into their homepage. And essentially what they're doing is they're taking a nice engaging image and they're using that as the focal point, the hero shot of the image itself or the homepage itself. So this is a, this is a way for you to kind of uh, relax on the design of the homepage because essentially you're letting the photography do all the design work for your homepage. So instead of trying to come up with different elements, you know, design elements for the homepage and how it will look and this and that, you can take a nice, large engaging image background layer some navigation on top layer of your logo layer some text layer a light a nice um, a nice shade or something to go over the image and a nice call to action button and you can come up with a nice home page design so a lot of designers are, are incorporating this look this design treatment into their work and it's really it's a really nice look uh, number two the second one is the usage of the single page design Okay, this is also used uh, with the large background image, but basically you see these single page designs and what happens is this is a cool way for designers to kind of focus in on one page and not necessarily worry about building content for all these additional pages, but you're, set, you're separating your content based on these different sections and also you see these sections that are um, color coordinated. So you might start off with a large background image and as you scroll down, below that there's a white section and as you scroll down there may be another darker section and so each of your tabs you may be your about page your services page whatever your contact page are separated by different color coordinated um, uh, divs so you can you know have different sections and different colors and it's just a nice single one page design and you can also include smooth scrolling so as you click on one of the links it scrolls, it scrolls down smoothly to one of the um, sections and, and uh, links within the page. And this is a nice uh, trend. This is a nice design trend that you can incorporate with the usage of large background image. Okay, so number two is the single page design. The third one is the usage of textures and uh, noise. And this, is, this has been around for a while. I incorporated this a couple years ago and I started to include this in my design. But... Um, the usage of textures, subtle textures, subtle layered textures in your design works can really bring out your design elements and make them a little bit more engaging than just flat colors and flat gradients. So the trick is you apply a little nice gradient, a subtle gradient on your design, like a, a bar or a de you know, background, and then you apply some noise and apply a little bit of texture on that. It has to be subtle though. You don't want it to be too noisy and too crazy. You just wanted to have some nice subtle textures and what you do is you layer different textures in different areas and that will really make your UI design work really, really engaging. Okay, so the usage of textures. The fourth one is a biggie and uh, this is probably one that you can talk about and uh, for hours and hours, but it's the usage of uh, responsive design. So responsive design um, is done where, for those of you who don't know what responsive design is, when your website adapts or responds to different browser sizes and different media. So um, you can have your same website responds to an iPhone, iPad, whatever, and different browser sizes. And so this is done with the uh, CSS trick, CSS3 um, uh, element called media queries, where you place media queries in your CSS and you can say when the browser gets to 640 pixels, I'm going to change these elements and make them you know, appear to be 100% width and all these things. So the technique itself is really simple. You can do a search on YouTube right now and find, you can do a search on media queries and find out about how responsive design is done. But the idea of taking a large scale website, designing it, and then making that scale to three to four different sizes or three different sizes, that's a little bit more challenging. So I can't discuss that all right now, but um, I will be doing that in the near future. But responsive design is something that you should be looking into and do a search for 
media queries. I'll leave some links on the page that you can you can find out uh, more more about that. But responsive design is a biggie. It's a big trend that's been coming along the last couple of years. But it's uh, I think it's something that we should all be looking into um, going forward. Um, the fourth and the fifth and final one is the usage of flat UI design. Okay, you can see you see this flat UI design is something that you see Google starting to adapt, Windows 8 is starting to adapt, and basically this is the usage of flat UI design elements. This is where you have UI design elements with little or no drop shadows. Okay, and you have really nice color schemes. You have really a flat vectorized look and feel and you can see this across the board I'll link up some examples on the site here I'll show some examples on the video and uh, this is just a nice UI design trend it really makes your UI design look really fresh really clean and you're starting to see a lot of UI, a lot of uh, startups and a lot of tech companies a lot of web applications move towards this look and so the flat UI design look is a really fresh really really tight look that um, you should start looking into and start incorporating this into your design work so those are the five number one large background images number two the usage of single page design number three usage of textures number four responsive designs and the fifth and final one is the flat UI design look UI design elements and those are the top trends those are my favorite trends for 2013 then so maybe these are things that you should start looking into incorporating into your work all right thanks for watching guys as always if you have any questions visit my website shoot me an email and i'll be happy to answer anything for you and check out my website look at my new podcast and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel like the video if you think this is useful and uh we'll chat soon bye